So here's a tip when making poses for the male avatar. So by default, it only displays the female avatar. So what we can do to fix this is open up the clothing tool. So we need to start a new project. Toolkit, clothing tool, append clothing file. Load up the male avatar. Shift click the mesh components. Including the head and the hair as an option. We don't necessarily need the hair because the hair doesn't necessarily animate. But so we've selected all the parts. Object. Copy. Create an animation tool project. Don't save. Animation tool. Paste object, paste objects, and it'll paste in all the meshes that we copied. So what we then need to do, let's just minimize these so that we can see what we're looking at. Hide the female parts. Including the head, which is the morph control. And then all we need to do is parent or in modifier properties when we select a mesh. So select a mesh, modifier properties, we should have the armature modifier. And here what we want to do is set the object or reset it so that it's pointing at the correct structure or the correct rig, which is anim. That's what that is. So we select our mesh parts. So right now it's in the T-Pose. Click on the Browse box. There is Anim. Select. Do that with all the different mesh parts. Feet. The head, the hair, and the hands. But we need to be aware that the hands aren't properly weighted to the avatar. So what we have to do here, we'll have to do this on both. So if we set the right hand, left hand, they'll both do the same thing. But the fix for this is relatively easy. All we need to do is go into weight paint mode. Then in object data properties, we need to find the appropriate vertex group that corresponds to this is the left hand. So we want LF hand. That's our T hand. LF hand select. It'll highlight the weights and then all we need to do is just paint over that and that will just weight it to LF hand. Do the same thing on the other side. Select weight paint. So this one we want RT hand. There's RT hand, select. And then just weight paint that to that vertex group. So what we should now have, exit, is our rig articulating mesh parts properly and of course we don't need the clothing rig or clothing skeleton or armature so we can select that and just delete it and that will give us 
a male version of the poseable avatar. But we do need to keep in mind that the facial rig or the facial controls do not affect this mesh. So when we need to do a facial animation for the male avatar, we'll have to unhide morph so that we get the female so that we can get some approximation of the facial animation for the male head. But that's a quick way, relatively speaking, of getting a male avatar set up for creating poses and or accessory items with poses.